What's up everybody? This week we're coming to you live from where? From New Kingston, right in front of Emancipation Park. Of course, you are watching pre this and I'm your host Cruddy. Now guess what? For the next half an hour, we have entertainment and lifestyle number one. So don't move a muscle, watch pre this now. Previous my viewers, we kick off this week's show with highlights from men who cook. Now, a lot of people say man can't cook. And for take it deep and go worse with the thing, them say corporate Jamaican men can't cook. Of course, we were there in Mandeville to see if these corporate men can cook. The whole Petcom team live in the building. Of course, Predis always bringing you the best in entertainment and lifestyle. Check it out, men who cook right there, Mandeville. <laughs> Tajay, what's up? Um, sun, hot, very hot, but the food is good. All right. What have you had so far? Um, curry goat and chicken in mango sauce. All right, you, you're from Manifel, right? right? All right, tell me what you feel about this event yearly. Well, it's a good event, nice that the, the celebrities can come out and cook for a charity. It's a good event. Carly, what's up? What are you doing? I'm good, and you? I'm fine. Tell me what you think about this event. Oh, this is a wonderful event. Uh, proceeds of it is towards a worthy cause. And so that's why you find that Barita Investment do participate in an event such as this. Okay, all right. And Barita, the whole Barita family here. Well, tell me what you think about the food, though, because I had some curry and definitely some of the best curry I've ever, ever had. What's, what's, what's your thought? Oh, food is fabulous. Uh, I had the sweet and sour chicken, also barbecue chicken, but pig stale, barbecue pig stale is the bomb. Tell me what you think about the food and all of that in this wonderful event. Well, the food was good, you know. Pretty, I am here with Miss Georgia Balfour from Swiss. She's the brand manager. Georgia, what's up? I'm good. I'm representing Swiss, distributed by Carimed Limited. Yeah. And today we're featuring our Swiss pouch ketchup. It has a stand up spout and a resealable spout. It's available in supermarkets island wide. It's an economical package, a better price than the bottle uh, ketchup that you see in the stores. All right, a better price. But tell me about some more of the other Swiss products, though. Okay. In the range of Swiss products, we have our peanut butter. We have it in 8 ounces and 16 ounces for our peanut butter. As well, we have our mayonnaise, right? As well as our pasta. And our pasta, we have a range of pastas. We have our tricolor pasta or elbows or twists or spaghetti so if you want to prepare spaghetti and meatballs you know you can use your spaghetti or if you want to do the macaroni we have that as well if you want your pasta meal to have a pretty color then you'll try our tricolor swirls it's all about men who cook and i'm here with mr alfonso chambers from petcom title sponsors today mr chambers what's up that's been great Cody. all right I normally see him around at the desk or a pulpit talking and representing Petcom, but today you're cooking. Tell me what's happening right here. Well, it's the most fabulous tasting curry goat you will have ever had in your lifetime. So don't miss out on it. Tell me why Petcom keep on coming on board with this event. For a number of years, I think it's probably in excess of 12 years. Yeah. We have been in partnership with the Lions Club, Club of Manville. It has yeah. served us well. It has been a very good ambassador for a cookie gas brand. As you know, we are the official sponsors of this event and we are also the official gas of the event. Mm -hmm. And um, wherever there is an opportunity like this, we'll endeavor to be a part of it. Yeah. All the chefs are cooking with Petcom Cookie Gas. Is that a strategical move, really? Yeah, it's very strategic for us in that um, it's testimony to the, the fine quality yeah. of the gas that we sell. Um, we distribute all around Jamaica, but in Mandeville and Manchester, we have a very high concentration yeah. of dealerships. We also have one of our major filling plants, yeah. and it has been serving the general community and the environment very well. And this is just a part of giving back to the community, right? A part of what Petcom will have gotten from them. So in our mind, it's a symbiotic relationship which we seek to foster and which we seek to grow as well. All right, Mr. Chambers, before you go, we see 
recently you guys were there with the Sunshine Girls. Yeah. Now here again, what's next for Petcom and why you guys just never seem to just take a break? You see, marketing is like driving and whatever you do today you may have to undo tomorrow for a different occasion. But you have to ensure that you remain on, on course. So yes, we'll continue to identify events that posi positively demonstrate our concern for Jamaicans yeah. and the patronage that we hope to bring to the table each time around. All right. Still in Mandeville for Men Who Cook, media personality Jenny Jenny invited myself for a pasta eating competition sponsored by Swiss Macaroni Elbow. Now, of course, I didn't win because from you see how my mother, you know me to eat a bag of food. But if you want to see what took place, let's go down there again in Mandeville. Pasta eating competition. No, them girls are winning a competition with me. Them dangerous. Check it out. Show down. Ready versus two people. Come now. Beat him. Let's go. Mommy, come on. Come on, Nina. 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 Come on, Come on, Nina. Come on, 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 Tap me on Twitter, let me know what are your thoughts on the pasta eating competition. If you want to laugh off of me, just hit me up right there on Twitter. Now, moving on with the show, he was recently named number one on the Billboard magazine chart called The Next Big Sound. Now, Kabaka Pyramid spoke with the previous team right after our rehearsal. And you know, as long as it's hot, as long as it's good, we have it right here on this show. Now, Reggae Sensation, Kabaka Pyramid, listen. Look out for this one, Talent on the Rise, this week, check it out. Kabaka Pyramid, welcome of course to Predis. Yeah man, bless up, you know, you don't know, Predis to say, yeah. Now talk to me about your career, how has the journey been for you? The journey, that's been a good journey still because I have close people around me, you know what I mean? We're dead from the start, you know, like my management team and some youth I go to school with and, you know what I mean, I'm a best friend them from my little youth, from me know myself, you know, so we always have the support we needed. Anytime we needed to build a studio, we had the resources to build our own studio. I never had to go wait in nobody's studio and sit down and wait for the engineer or producer for give me rhythm you know we build our own a rhythm them and kind of just build the thing from an independent perspective so the journey has been good you know we have to be patient still you know because some people feel it's all about the bus and it's all about the finding the hit song there right now we want to do that now but we take the patient route you know what i mean and just go and put in the work has working with your own in-house um, team allowed the, um, some amount of creativity freedom to be creative definitely always have to have the freedom you know what I mean? When we work with other ones, freedom is there as long as a natural relationship is there. Grew up in Mona, you know, I went to Campion High School. You know what I mean? Went to Mona Prep, Prep School. You know, um, yeah, Mona side, whole pastures, them places I really grew up. Uh, for college, 
actually flew out to Orlando in Florida. You know, I went to DeVry University. Got a two year degree in electronics and computer tech. Well, as a as a vocalist, it's like as soon as I start to write tune and realize that the lyrics dead, we always envision a career in the thing. You know what I mean? So from from 2002, them time never start right. I did. I was you know I was away for about nine months, and then I reached for the yard and my bridging and build up a studio. You know, my brother was the main producer, Supernova, and everybody around me just a right tune and a voice tune. And you know what I mean? More time when the studio free up, I just go in there and do a little thing by myself. You know what I mean? Build up some rhythm and voice and thing. And it's like me. They always know said the lyrics did there. You know, it was just to develop the voice and the delivery and, and you know what I mean? And then we dropped the Rebel Music EP in a 2011, in a July. And that kind of, as them would have said, shot the thing around. You know, even though it's been a thing where I pick up over time, because you, you don't know, so not every song was being played on the radio at the time when it just bust. But throughout the time, you know, DJs pick up on the thing and start to become more aware. What would you say has been the highlight for you so far? What um, has been the standout moment, the high point for you? Two moments I always drop on um, when I was on tour last year, you know, the Ready for the Road Tour 2012. We did about 14 shows in Europe, Germany, France, Austria, Switzerland, and um, Netherlands. So that whole experience was great, you know, seeing people where, you know, you, you go in these places for the first time and they know you sang them, some of them word for word, you know what I mean? Songs are not even going to get played in Jamaica. You know what I mean? So it shows that we put in a lot of work on the international scene with the social media and things like that. You know, and um, definitely Rebel Salute was a, a high point for me. Billboard magazine has ranked you as the number one next big song. What does that mean to you? What does it signify? Well, it signifies the work we put in with the social media. I think that's what they base it off of. You know what I mean? How fast something is apparently rising in terms of the social circles. and. You know what I mean? We always put in whole heap of effort in terms of we, you don't know the Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, YouTube, make sure I say the song them up, make sure I say them current. You know what I mean? Even if a song released by a different producer, if we not see it go up, we put it up. And we share it on our page. You know what I mean? And make sure our fans them have access to the music. You know what I mean? And and me is the type of youth where I interact with my fans. You know what I mean? Because I see them as, as like the broader family. So when people see them vibes and know so them can access an artist, them, them naturally want to share the music more because they feel a part of the thing. We well, look for drop another EP in July, I mean June, hopefully June, you know what I mean? And um, this one is more a compilation though, because we did a lot of songs with various producers, as opposed to the first EP where, yeah, we got rhythms from other producers, but it's we produce it ourselves. And we're definitely touching the road in the summer. Um, in uh, July, end of July, we're looking for go California. We have two major festivals, Reggae on the River. And um, up in Oregon, we have the Northwest Reggae Festival. And then we're doing some dates in between. And then after that, we head up to Europe. So, no, no, English. Can you talk English? Can you tell me? So, no, no, English. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. Remember, I'm your host, I'm Crody, and we're going for our first commercial break, and it's brought to you by Rumbar Rum.